I wonder if you made the right choices last time. Let's see what you'll do today. I'm glad you... They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. Androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Specialized Android models. The situation. 
situation is extremely alarming. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. They're conducting... It's a monster. We've monsters. gotta do something. We can't just stand by and let the crisis and the neutralization of all military androids. American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment at the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus leaves in two hours and it's on the other side of town. We'll go as soon as we have passports. Will you be okay? Even though we were unarmed. Think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Thanks for the offer. But we won't leave now. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. Simple as that. There was a veritable ground swell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening the lives of any humans they encountered. The police intervened quickly to quell the rioting, but they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seemed to be determined to massacre humans. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave of violence. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized android models. The situation is extremely alarming. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was... How 
this. You wanted a mom. You wanted a little girl. You needed each other to survive. In the end, what difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. She loves you. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? I need to think. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. 
to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. I've missed you. You don't know how much I've missed you. What's wrong, Marcus? I'm completely lost, Carl. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me. 
What choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is, or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color, but I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know, I know you're all angry, and I know you want to fight back, but I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please, Madam President. It's true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases. All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! Madam President! What's gonna happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with CyberLife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the Android question. 
Thank you. That will be all. The last boss leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Got an order to check all civilians. No. No! Please! Fucking androids. Saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Where's the little one? She's all right. She's hiding nearby. Go before they see you.
A checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. Maybe it's better to be safe. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. They see... Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters?
Yes, Michael, we are less than 100 meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out as long as we can. Terminal. We've we've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus has left the terminal. There will be no more buses until further notice. We missed it. We're stuck here. What are we going to do now? everyone. It won't take them long to find us. We need to get out of here. If you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. Gotta finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me. That should do it. I all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing.
many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. I won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Maybe they just can't get through. have to die. Is there any cause worth giving your life for? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Isn't that what you want? I gave you my answer. like that. Okay. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them and we are not afraid. If we must die today, 
Then we will die free. Anybody see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. It's not even a half a mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. Hey, you take good care of yourselves. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. We're far enough out. We can use the engine. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world, play music and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. What about you, Kara? What will you do when we're on the other side? What will I do? I don't want to feel fear anymore. I want to live a normal life. And be happy. They're coming towards us!
They've gone. Alice, you okay? Cora! Don't worry, it's nothing. I'm okay. I'll be fine. Making. We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink. Oh, we're so close. We're not gonna die, Alice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. Interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time.
Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fight on just a little while longer. Fight on just a little while longer. Pray on just a little while longer. Incredible. Everything the, the deviants. The deviants are singing. Images of deviants singing in the face of death are being seen all over the planet. Surely deviants are just defective machines. Or are they a new form of life, one that we refuse to acknowledge? When we watch footage of androids facing down the barrel of a gun, we can only speculate as to whether they simply simulated fear and courage, or whether they didn't really feel these emotions. The violence of the androids turned the country against them, but these images still raise difficult questions. Did we shoot down intelligent beings that were simply fighting for their freedom? That is why I have called for the android destruction to be suspended until further notice. I have also ordered a Senate Select Committee to review the facts, establish contact with the deviants, and determine if they can be considered as a new form of intelligent life.
want you to leave me, Carl. You promised. I love you more than anything. I know you'll be happy.